we've got a nice uh, GS exclusive TE model, so that means it's got all the whistles and bells, all the electronics, and the exclusive paintwork. Um, it's got these cylinder head guards, a little extra. Um, front of the engines, starting to bubble a little bit on the paintwork there. Um, it's not too bad on there. Fins not too bad. Not 100%, but they really are. Uh, we haven't cleaned the bike at all, so literally just come in like this, so it is a bit grubby. But I'm more pointing out any sort of damage or anything we can see. Spring looks good up there. Front tire's okay. A little bit of surface corrosion again, just on the discs. Although, to be honest, even with my finger, you can sort of rub that, rub that off so that will that will come off a bit of a clean. Uh, headlight guard. Was useful, stop you getting cracked if any stones get chucked up. Paintwork looks good on the front, a few dead flies you can see. Um, getting down here, very slight bit of bubbling around the bolts, a bit hard to see, it's not, well, not all peeling off. So, if you're someone who likes looking after the bike, you could easily sort that out. Um, same on the cylinder head there, a couple of little bubbles. Bit of paint looks like it's been rubbed off there. So again, not 100% perfect, but not terrible. Um, it's just muck. Um, down parts look good. So the stands okay. Exhaust will clean up, so it's a bit mucky. Paintwork all looks good. Seats look good. It's got full Vario luggage, so this is the expandable luggage. Um, pull the lever, and the box gets bigger and smaller. As you probably know, not cheap stuff. Full set of that, 67 red, so last of the uh, 1200s. Uh, this is the Euro 4 model, so had the gearbox upgrades and the Euro 4 engine. Uh, again, you can see corrosion starting, just bubbling up the paint around there. The seal's tight though, no dripping oil or anything. Um, unfortunately, a bit of a trait on BMWs. Um, Spring looks good. It's a low mileage one. Um, that flash on the forks, the uh, reflector shows it's a Euro 4 model. It's part of the requirements for Euro 4. It's a keyless ride, uh, cruise control, daytime riding lights, electronic suspension with um, the dynamic mode, uh, different power mode again with dynamic mode, heat the grips. Traction control, done, um, what it done? It's done, 11,000, just, just over 11,000. 